and welcome back to another episode of Barbershop Talk Like This. I am your host, Trey the Barber. And it's your other host, Dice the Barber. And it's your man, Kush, down here on the other end, as usual. And today in the building, we got my homie, my man, Mr. Amir Boyd. What's up, brother? What's up, fellas? What How up, you doing no, this morning? Man. Or this up. afternoon, we should say. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm wonderful, man. I'm All up. right. Well, first things we got to let you know is... First of all, we always start our show off by saying thank you to the Lord up above for waking us up this morning, yes, allowing man. each and every last one of us to make it through our weeks, and uh, just everybody being blessed and being here today. You, all right? Amen. I, amen. I can't get an amen. Amen. I mean, man, yeah, you know what amen. I'm saying? I, I thank God for all this, and nobody said amen. Oh, all right? <laughs> now, secondly, we always start our show off with a shot. Shot. Oh, all right? Take a shot. So, you yeah. know. We gonna pass it. I, I got hey, whatever hey, we, you want. We, we got, got some tequila. We, we got, got some tequila. We got tequila. 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 But what I you want? Tequila. I'm on that. That's vodka right there, right? Yeah. yeah. Tequila and champagne. So, only yeah. things I drink. So what's up, Amir? Man, I've been trying to get you on the podcast for a minute. Finally got you up in here, man. I appreciate you taking the time out today. Come hang out with your boys, man. Yeah, I'm glad y'all had me, man. I've been. You know, I be on planes and trains and automobiles, so, you know. That's right, because I'm, I'm about to discuss your title. Now, you are the Senior National Director of Urban Promotions. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. And that and who is that with? Shit. Fuck that title, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it means something, but it really don't. But um, I work for Interscope Records, and, uh, yeah, I, I don't need no, yeah, I just need straight up. Yeah, yeah, you, that's uh, you right there. And, um... Basically, what I do, if you ever seen that movie, Get Him to the Greek? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm basically that guy. Puffy? Or, no, or the puffy. dude getting him to the Greek? The dude getting him to the Greek. Okay. But it's, it's like, that's like some of it. You know what I'm saying? It's just like a little piece of it. I, I, out of all movies that, that have ever shown, that's like the closest thing to can say. What, so before what that like. movie, had you stroked the furry wall? <laughs> I've never I, I was getting ready to say I've never stroked anything furry But then I got a couple of kids <laughs> That would have been a lie Alright so everybody raise your glasses Let's get this show kicked off the right way Salud 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 Salud, salud, salud. Normally I take mixed drinks But I mean normally I take shots But Today, I feel like doing a mixed drink. Yeah, we got a whole cornucopia. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? We got to mix it up. You know what I'm saying? Off the bar. I be, listen, I, I've been up all night long. Why the fuck I'm you tired. been up all night long? So, I was prepping for the podcast. Then I was playing Madden. And then, uh, you know. Yeah, that Madden to do it. I was headed to bed about 5.30 this morning, and, you know, me and wifey kind of started beefing, so, you know, fuck it. Adrenaline I mean, was rushing. I couldn't go to sleep after that, so, you know, baby, I, mean, I love you. I mean, listen, shit, I love shit, you. Shit happens, listen, but, shit happens, baby. Listen, I love you. We we bump heads, but you still my ride or die, how so. Long you, how long you been married, yo? Uh, I've been married for 13 years. 13, yeah. 13. Yeah, yeah, arguments happen. You know what yeah. I mean? And you married 13 years, married like, everything is not hunky-dory. You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? Listen, like, bro, <laughs> I, I've come a long way. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 shit. I've come a long way. I mean, because there was times, bro, I mean, we'd be arguing and we wouldn't talk to each other for weeks at a time. Like, man, I don't do none of that. I say what I got to say. You know, I apologize and let shit be what it is. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I've been married 18 years, bro. Right on. Yeah, yeah so, so, you, so you know it's arguments. It's going to be arguments. Listen, but, you know, me and my wife both over 40 now, so I'm almost 44. I'll be 44 next month. Right on. And yeah, see, I'm 42. Yeah, so yeah. when you get to be over 40, like, and you just you just don't care about a lot of shit. All you want is your peace. So you learn how to take L's. Right. Like, yeah. That's a part of adulting. Yeah. Like, yeah. but when you young, you ain't taking no L's. Right. Every 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 <laughs> yeah, everything. That, that, that's why. It. Yeah. That's why it's just right. like an argument, and that should have last for like two, two three, weeks. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That, like yeah. like you be like, fuck that. I ain't talking and about you, know, you, but you still my shorty. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But Nobody you, better fuck with you while we arguing. Yeah, but you ain't but, supposed to. You ain't supposed to go to sleep, man. Nah, you really ain't. Listen, man. That's I'm why man. he didn't go to sleep. Let <laughs> <laughs> nah, me tell you what it else to do though. Like it just shorten your time here on earth. Like it just festers up around your heart. And you hear people dying when they in their forties, and and you. I'm saying and 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 you know not waking up in your sleep like yo that's not natural yo if you're right. a young person you're not waking up in your sleep that's not natural so 
You know what I'm saying? That be mm-hmm. that be all of that. Like that be like whatever you're going through with your wife, whatever you're going through at your job, whatever you're going through with your kids, with your friends, all that shit festers up around your heart mm-hmm. if you don't know how to take the air and, and 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 remove that energy out of you. Like right. I, I live by something now. I don't even know where we supposed to go topic wise, but I just nah, felt nah, like we, hey, bro, we, yeah, we, we bro, I got shit like I'm gonna this. ask you. So, you know what I'm saying? This so is. so I feel like I feel like like real talk like I, I knew you guys before I got on the show. I got I knew y'all before I came to LA, like before I moved out here. Right. And mm-hmm. I, when I met y'all, probably the same day I met y'all, I started telling y'all I'm gonna end up living out here. Mm-hmm. Right. And like two years later, it ended up happening. Yeah, right? yeah, your ass is out here. Exactly. So I, m- my 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 um the way I look at life um is like you speak things into existence, right? right. You only Absolutely. speak greatness yep. into existence, and you Absolutely. dismiss all negative, all negative shit. If it take y'all some time to just chill out and be around each other and not speak, whatever, do whatever y'all y'all get through it, that's the important part that y'all oh, get yeah. through it. You know what I'm saying? Because oh, yeah. that's 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 Bro, that's it, taking the it air was right good there. really when I left the crib. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. you know, <clears throat> like I said, I'm at I'm at a, I'm at a stage now, bro. Like we say what we say, and then like for me after that. I'm done with it. Like, yeah. I, I ain't walking around mad. I don't want to keep being yeah. mad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know. Is she yeah, that you way gotta, too, you though? let shit go. Yeah, yeah, but is she, like, because, you know, like, women, like, they like motherfucking, don't get this twisted. Women are every DEA agent, every CIA <laughs> agent, every COP. <laughs> they know more shit than it's we a, think it, about, yeah, right? It's, it's just natural for right, them. Right, exactly. So, but in order for the relationship to keep going, like she got to let shit go too. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Like it, you 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 grow into that. Like I don't mm-hmm. think nobody was ever ready to, not no man cuz this ain't something we think about being as a kid. Right. We don't think about being married. Like when right. we when we a kid we like man fuck that. We we you know what I mean? But yeah. women kid young ladies think about being married when they like 6 7 years old. Like right, they, right, right. They, they <laughs> like me old. me personally I was like I know that I'm not going to get married till like I'm after 40. And the reason why I said nigga, that, you already and, after forty. Nigga, I'm forty one now, but I'm you no. Know, <laughs> but what I'm saying is, not I mean me growing up. What I said was, is I want to make sure I had all that shit out of me before I decided to to settle down. Not I me mean, with one person. You know what I'm saying? Not I me mean, because by then I'd be like, all right, I done did all my shit in teenage years, twenties, thirties. Now it's time to man the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? And find somebody that you that you actually want to be with like that. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I said after 40, it would be a good time I, I was for, like, for, I for was me like, personally. I, I mean, I, that's in, to each his own. You know what I'm saying? Marriage is definitely not something anybody should ever rush into. Mm-hmm. There's no time clock on it. There's no biological clock. Ladies, fellas, whoever's trying to rush to get married, don't rush. Take your time because you know that's, how you find, right. that's how you find yourself in a fuck situation. You know what yeah. I'm saying? With somebody you ain't supposed to be yeah. with. You know what I mean? If so, you feel like you rushing into something or if a man feel like he He's being forced to propose, or if a female, you know what I mean, feel like she's being uh, put into something just because a man you proposed to her and she don't want to do it. You know what I'm saying? You, you might want to just fall back. You don't want to just rush into something that you ain't Absolutely. feeling because it'll just fuck shit up in the long run. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So uh, but, um, back to a mirror, though. Yeah. Uh, 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 no, tell them, sure. tell, tell, tell the people where you from, man. I was where, just about to get in. You know what I'm saying? Like, wait, wait, tell them, tell them where you from. So um, I'm originally from. I was actually born in Detroit, Michigan. Oh, okay. But I, I can't take no credit for Detroit, though. You know what I'm saying? But if somebody asked me where I was born, then I'll tell them Detroit, right? But I, I actually grew up, the first half of my life was in Suitland, Maryland, then the second half was like in Largo, and then when I became an adult, it was in D.C. So I've been like mm. in and around all of that part of the town. Um, they refer to it now as the DMV. DMV, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah so so you, yeah, you all DMV. PG County, uh... PG County. Kevin and, Durant. And, yeah, Kevin, Kevin Durant. Dave um, Chappelle. Dave Chappelle's from D.C. Um, uh, Michael Beasley. He, Martin, he's, he, Martin. Yeah, Martin. He's from Landover. Um, mm. Sugar Ray Leonard. You know what I'm saying? Like, he got a street named after him right over in Landover. Uh, Palmer of course. Yeah, yeah, he should. H.U. You know what I'm saying? Howard. I used to live right down the street from Howard. How okay. was it How was it for you growing up? Like, um... So, so it, 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 my, my, my adult, I mean, my, my, my younger years were like in phases, right? Because you had the phase where your, your mommy and your daddy were together and everything was cool and good and grand mm-hmm. and shit, right? Mm-hmm. You living in the hood, but you still kind of like the, 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 the first in the neighborhood to have a computer, the first in the neighborhood right. to have a, you know what I'm saying? Remote yeah, because you, cause, cause you got that mom and dad income. And not only in. that, but they was, they, <laughs> they, yeah, exactly. But they was, they was like, when my dad worked for the, the government, my mom worked for the government. If you live in the DMV, 
you know, likelihood of your parents had worked for the government is very likely. So yeah. my people was working for the government they was, and they was beasting at it. So they was, you know, they was getting money. And I was going to Saudi Arabia when I was like 10 and spending Damn. the summer overseas and, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, all yeah, that kind yeah. Of shit. You, you, was, you was one of those kids. Exactly. But again, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it still, don't get it twisted. Like, we still was in a, in, in, in a, a rough in little a spot. Right. Yeah. But, but, um, but, so when dad leaves, we done already moved to the suburbs. So when dad leaves, this is when I met met y'all homie, uh, uh, G. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. When, so when the dad leaves, you know, life changed. You know what I'm saying? You go from having nice houses to living in people's basements and borrowing clothes and, you know what I'm saying, and getting assistance and, you know, just like being house to house to house to house. Like, motherfuckers don't even know. Like, G don't need, I matter of fact, I just told G this a couple of years, uh, a couple of months ago about how my senior year, I was living from house to house. Mm. He didn't even know that. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like, you know, you don't share that with your homies when you're growing up. Yeah, yeah, because you, know you don't want nobody to think you're struggling. Exactly. You know but, 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 Especially if you popular. But my mom, but, yeah, exactly, and I definitely, my, but my mom did everything she could. You know what I'm saying? Like, she she had enough. I had I got a younger brother who's four years younger than me. So it was a struggle. He was in middle school. I'm in high school. You know, we kind of bouncing around. Like, she was dealing with a lot. But it's still, you know, I, I had a grand time, bro, and I wouldn't change none of it. Even the fact that, that Pops left, I wouldn't so, change So it. would you say, because you basically was up, went yeah. down and then came back up. So now now it, it makes you appreciate, man. Not I mean, life, not I me, mean, and, and, and everything else that comes along with it. Absolutely, man. If I didn't have, like, like my mom and my uncle, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, my uncle, like, he stepped in. You feel me? Like, he stepped in. Matter of fact, he was always there. You know what I'm saying? Like, my dad, even when he was dead, like, he wasn't really there. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, he wasn't there for me. Like, he did a, he, like, he took me, took me around the world. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not discrediting some of the shit he's done. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I played football from the time I was seven till I was 12 years old. My dad came to one game and sat in the car. Dang. So that's that's not like being present to me. Right. You know no, what I'm saying? Yeah. That's just being a, you You, know, you around. You, you literally yeah. just around. But, again, he told me some other shit. He told me yeah. how to, you know, work computers. He told me, like, the first computer I ever used was via him. You see what I'm saying? Like, so you took some, you got some things from I got from some him. things from him, absolutely. He got a street named after me in North Carolina, right outside of Charlotte. Like, mm. you know what I'm saying? So I, I learned some things from him. Like but, named after you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a, a mere circle in, in Matthews, North Carolina. It's like right outside of Charlotte, North Carolina. It's like like a couple of minutes away from from where Michael Jordan was, was born. And shit. So real That's quick, why, why, why did they name the street after you? Uh, my dad, my dad, my dad, um, my granddad was like a, a like a pioneer in the neighborhood, and he helped the neighborhood become. It's actually one of the first black neighborhoods in the country. So he helped the neighborhood get like water and all that kind of stuff. And then so my dad, um, you know, what I'm saying, end up being a part of Habitat for Humanity, and in Charlotte, North Carolina, and, and they was building houses and shit. So he he named one of the streets in his neighborhood after me. My dad also. You know what I'm saying? Like designed the county seal for Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh, when he shit. was like, you know, Mecklenburg, Mecklenburg County. He designed that county seal when he was in when he was in um when he was young. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the shit. That's so dope. Dope. so no, I mean like like that's, that's what going, it, that's so like you have forever. you have a different uh story as far as like an absent father or a present and then yeah. an absent father, because your father is saying, it sounds like he had he had his head on straight, yeah, he yeah, was yeah. working, he was smart, he was doing shit. I mean yeah, Compared yeah. to a lot of other people losing their dad to hustling and, and oh yeah yeah nah it wasn't no street shit, shit. it wasn't no shit. I ain't he was setting you up I mean he he I felt like my dad this is how I look at things my dad was a dreamer right mm -hmm. right you know what I'm saying my dad was a dreamer my mom was a worker you know what I'm saying so my dad used to try to match the dreams up with the work and a lot of times that didn't that didn't work but that's 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 what happens when you're a dreamer though like sometimes the shit just don't add up. But my mom was always a worker, so I feel like I got both of they, both of they, um, they, they, they characteristics inside of me. Because yes, I'm a dreamer, but I work for every fucking thing that I got. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like it be me, me and God. You know what I mean? Like so, you know, I, I feel like I got the best of both of those situations. Except that, like, you know, me being a dad, like I learned a lot of what not to do with my kids. Right, right, you know right, what I mean? right. Based right. upon what you know, I was taught. Yeah, or yeah. show from him. Yeah, so it makes you really, really want to be there it's because you you think of the, some of the little things that your dad taught you. If he would have been there the whole time, 
it would have been a lot more. So now you see, like, are, are you kind of looking at it like, oh, um, yeah, absolutely. Like, 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 listen, like I'm now, I'm just going to stay in my kid's life yeah, yeah, because, yeah. because I'm a man, yeah, first, yeah. first of all, but I want them to learn more than what the fuck I learned. Yeah. Too. Me, me and my, me and my, me and my wife went together. Like we, we separated and it's interesting. You even mentioned that shit. Me and my wife separated for like three or four years. Um, and we, you know, one of the things that brought me back to, to the house among other things was like, man, like, you know, I got daughters and I need to be around them. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, right. I can't have no other man raising them. You know what I'm saying? I can't have no other man with the opportunity to make do some fuck shit. And then I'll be beating myself up over my head mm -hmm. for years about that because right. I couldn't deal with a mom or whatever, or I wanted to be fucking other bitches or whatever the case may be. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. It wasn't, none of that shit was worth it. You feel me? So I, I, I went back and it's interesting. Like I was reading the day, my, I got a daughter to go to USC right now. And I got another daughter applying and, um, and I was reading her, and she probably gonna kill me for for. It's a, a proud day. He rocking all that USC yeah, 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 gear always. too. Always. Um, but she she um she I was reading um her her, her um, essay, and she was talking about um, you know that period of time when me and her mom went together. How strong how 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 hard it was for her. You know what I'm saying? Just being a teenager, going living you know living at home and and you know having to tell somebody I'm staying with my my dad this weekend or I can't because right. I'm gonna be with my dad this weekend yeah as opposed to yeah you know what I'm saying I can go you like just little things you don't pay attention to right yeah so when you when you when you have your own kids you you know what I'm saying you you try to do what's right but for a minute like I was saying at the beginning like when you become 40 that's when you start to realize man this this really like all this other stuff out here. It don't people, matter. It don't even matter, yo. It don't and you matter. might as well just save your energy and your and your greatness. And just keep continue to build greatness and save your um your energy for only positive stuff, bro. Like don't even let nobody bring no like negative stuff right. around you, bro. Mm -hmm. Like and you will be amazed at how much the world slows down for you. Right. I told I listen, I tell people all the time, I'm like, yo, keep that negative shit away from me like yes. I don't even want like sometimes like 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 sometimes my mom like she'll get she'll get the drinking and stuff and and she'll hit me up with a whole bunch of because the city that I'm from is bad so she'll hit me up with a whole bunch of negative shit and I'm like yo listen if you got anything negative to say like I don't even want to hear that shit just call me up with all positivity Man. and that's it because I, I I can't have that shit around me right now yeah I mean I, I be telling my wife that all the time I'm like listen I'm 42 and reality is is I'm either at least halfway done with this life or maybe more so. Who who knows? You know what I'm saying? But at this stage, I don't got time for all the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I keep telling I'm trying to live life peacefully. I'm trying to uh, establish shit. I'm trying to go for as many goals and things as I, can, I possibly can get. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like at this age, bro, it's like... And on top of that, too... All three of us, all four of us are in some way creative people. And I know that negative energy for me throws my creativity completely off. It you throws everything off. Yeah, oh, completely yeah. off. It's, if hell it's yeah. any type of ridiculous energy like that in my life, you know, I might go days without touching my drum machine or my keyboard or anything just because mine can't settle. So I can't have that around me neither. I feel Yeah, yeah. like, I, I, I think it's hard. I don't understand how... Like, cause I used to rap and shit. So like when I would get into that, I, I couldn't write. So I don't understand how a lot of people go to jail and could just I don't write. get that. Because, yeah, because, because it's, it's but if you don't have nothing seems, else to do. I understand that. But like my, like, I just, I just can't think of, cause I'm, no. I'm like, I can need to get to the fuck out of here. Everybody's right? process is different. I, I know that. I and know not only that, but when you, after you get in jail for a minute, like you hear other inmates say like they got your body, but not your mind. Like you, you can't just turn your mind off. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's and that that that's the part that a lot of people don't realize that you have to get accustomed to when you behind somebody's bars and they telling you yeah. when and where to go. So if you if you ain't built for that kind of you know what I'm saying mental uh, uh, anguish, then you you best not like try to live that lifestyle, man. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm telling. Listen, yeah. I, listen. I've always known my whole life. Mentally, I'm not built for nobody's prison. Like, nigga, like, <laughs> like, even when I was in the streets, I used to tell niggas, like, listen, if I'm looking at anything more than six months, maybe like a year and a half, <laughs> nigga, I'm going down to gun blaze. I'm not being locked up. Niggas be like, nigga, you crazy. Nigga, nigga, not, nigga, nigga fuck that. I, nigga, I don't want to be locked up. You know what I'm saying? So nigga, listen, nigga, look, when I, I got, got a prison ass, doing look, size. When, when I so got my ass, when I got my ass in the situation, 
And I realized that prison was a, a definite possibility behind the decisions I was making. Man, I changed my life. I'm like, man, fuck this. These motherfuckers ain't Good playing. Good for you, bro. They ain't playing, nigga. They, I, I, they I, not playing it. I, I, I got they, they, they waiting to put your ass away. I used to think I was I'm invincible, nigga. Sorry. Like, nigga, for real, I, I don't know why. I used to just think I was invincible, nigga. I rode around with pistols and shit like... I couldn't get stopped by the police. Like, I, I don't know. Yeah, I was, until you got I that reality wild. check. You yeah, got nigga, that reality I got, check. Nigga, you I got like, that on, reality nigga. check. He's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Time out. <Yeah>. Time <laughs> shit, out. Shit, All right, so um, I want to talk a little bit about your career. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you are hands-on in the music industry. So who are some of the artists that you uh, represent or, or dealing with right now? Uh, right now, um... Um, I represent at Interscope. We have, uh, you know, TDE. Well, we have Kendrick, we have J Rock, and we have Schoolboy Q um, from TDE. And then uh, we have uh, uh, Rich the Kid. We have um, Jay Critch, who's an up and coming star that's about to be, you know, super out of here in a minute. He's already on the cuff of that. Um, we have um, Black, we have J. Cole, we have Kaz. We have Boz. We have uh, 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 what's her name? Ari Lennox. We got Ella May. We got Amber Mark. <laughs> we got um, yeah, Tory Lanez. Everybody, and everybody know about Tory Lanez right street. now. He's been popping the last couple of days. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the little yeah, battle that's going on. Yeah. What's, yeah. The, what's yeah. the guy? What's the kid's uh, name? Uh, battling Luca join us. Join us. Join us. Join, join Lucas. Lucas. And join he went Lucas. and pushed the T the other day too. Man. Well, he asked for push, uh, but push hasn't hasn't going hasn't given him anything yet. So join Lucas. Sure. That's the dude who did <laughs> the Eminem. Um, I listen, man. Joey Lucas was, uh, man, I think he was on uh, Compton CD. I mean, every time uh, I turn Lucas, around, it's a different he's artist. He's got, he's got some I can't brackets. keep up with these niggas. Man. Yeah, nah, it's a lot of, uh, we got Juice World, we got Sheck West, you know what I'm saying? Like, it is a lot Interscope of music. Interscope is I, like the new Def Jam. Um, yeah. <laughs> like, it's like, honestly, like back bro, in the like, day, Def Jam yeah, had dude, everybody. Honestly, like, 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 for me, it's, it's so hard to keep up with everything that's out there. Like I get on my Apple Music, you know, you see what's news coming out. And before you get a chance to really even listen and digest that particular project, shit, there's like at the same time when you downloaded that one, it's like four other ones that I you mean, down down. I mean, you can't you can't be mad at the internet, bro. The internet made the world smaller. Like we doing here, we sitting here doing podcasts. I ain't mad at and it. And this some shit that like, we couldn't God even damn. done ten years ago, right? But the reason the reason that it's like that is because everybody like Everybody thinks they can do it. So because everybody thinks they can do it, it's going to be a lot of people who see through they can actually do it. Yeah. And they're going to make their music, bro. And even if they're not on a major label, they still putting their music out because the world and the internet is so much smaller. Yeah, like, and You don't have to wait around on labels to do stuff for you nah. no more. But... There's no filter. So there's no, there's no, there's like, no, there's no, it's not really, it, it's, it shouldn't be, a, there should be quality control. That's, that's not, the, well, that's, that's what like, I mean. Yeah, not really a filter. That, that kind of brings that's me into I mean my next yeah. show. There's yeah. no, like, there's no be, cultivation. Be, there's no, co there's no well, curation. The little Spanish I, there, girl, there, that, that little Spanish girl, that, that little Spanish girl she, she hard. And if it wasn't for social media, she probably wouldn't, when the listen, guy got on like so that. I'm so glad that hip hop is like, like what you saying, like you saying it's so much. I'm so glad that that's the case, because like when when I was coming up, it wasn't like that. No, it wasn't. You know what I'm saying? Like it's totally. But I, be, I be feel like I'm out the loop. Yeah, it's the okay. Air, yeah, everybody start talking air. about yeah, something. Like, I'm like, who? Yeah, it's okay. Like, who? It's okay. okay. It ain't all Man, for like you. Everything. Right. So, I know so that part. So actually, kind of segues me into my question uh, because I wanted to ask you, like, for you personally, um, working in, in you know with artists, what do you look for or what do you think that makes that star that sets you know what i'm saying because I mean, there's so much music out there so many artists yeah. what separates you know what i'm saying that star from everybody else um i so it's a couple of things to me like i think the star thing like back in the day it used to be like yo you could walk in a room and you know what i mean and you can everybody want to know right you yeah, can feel, feel it you, that that still exists but there's also now there's also hunger Right, mm -hmm. and when I mean hunger, I mean drive, like motivation, like, like, yo, I'm at the studio working, like I'm, 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 I'm on tours. I'm, I'm talking to promoters because I'm trying to get on these tours. I'm, I need a new agent, or I gotta go find me an agent, or I, I need, like, I need, I need, I need, because I want, I want, I want, 
and I'm going to get because I'm going to get because not not the I need somebody to do all of this for, for me. me. Like not but, that. Right, right, right. Yeah. That 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 that's not right. That's not like that's not how you become wonderful and great and on your songs on us on Spotify popping because you're not relating to nobody if you got everybody trying to do shit for you. Right. Like the people that 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 people cuz I respect hard work over talent because it's a lot of talented people that's sitting right at home watching this, right? Spoiled. Yeah. But it's but whoever whoever's hard working, they may be watching this, but they they got something right next to them where they working and one and two or whatever. Like, you know what I mean? Like these kids, man, I done seen them all. Like, you know, they they start out with a record and then they don't want to do no work. Right. Mm -hmm. So now right. all he is is a record, and really the record bigger than him. Right. Yeah. So so I you know, with, with the labels and stuff like that, are they are they kind of looking at because because we're in the social media world, are they looking at everybody's Followers to, to to where they don't gotta do yes, too and, much too much extra work I mean, if they got a following already. So like, should people build their shit up first? Absolutely, they should. But you should. But there's there's always, like you know, like I I was a part of the team that helped Travis Scott get signed to Epic. Right, he signed mm -hmm. the Grand Hustle at the time. I was still Grand Hustle. So, um, like he only had twenty five hundred followers. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But that was that was two thousand eleven. Yeah, right. exactly. You know what I mean? So, so it's different now. Shit wasn't popping like that. Like like yeah. now, what you could do, a lot of people what they don't know, like if you think that you got a real, real hit song, like you could pay somebody like Baller Alert or like World Star, you know what I mean? Yeah, a certain certain amount of money. You know what I mean? No, no, but the thing is if you do that, that'll jump your following up. Know what I mean, that that's Sometimes basically that's basically really. being on your grind if you want to take it to the next level. Nah, I I I don't I, I wouldn't suggest that. I, I would suggest if 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 you got a, if you think you got a record, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Go perform the record in your city. Like go make sure you know every DJ in your city. I'm talking about every DJ, not just the DJs that's on the radio. I'm talking about every DJ. I don't Club care if they DJs, DJ at Bar Mitzvahs. Yeah. Go make sure you know that DJ and ask them to play your records when you're not around. Mm -hmm. Because you play your, you play my record when I'm around, that's to be expected. But, like, play my shit when I'm not around. Mm -hmm. Go build some relationships in your own backyard. So that if I'm riding through your city and I hear this record, I can call a local DJ that I know because I know most of them. And I can say, yo, you heard of this record? And they can be like, yeah, that shit popping. That's what I want to hear. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? As opposed to you spending some money. Like, I can tell, I know people that ball alert and all these other spots, so I can tell if you're spending your money. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I, right. I, I can read through that. Like, we, you know what I mean? I ain't new to it, so I can tell when it ain't authentic. Yeah. And that's what you want. You want authentic people. Like, organic. So, yeah, like, so, like, so, like, you got people like, blowing so, up so, off. So, like, 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 with some of those sites, like, if your shit is popping, they'll throw your shit out there without you paying yeah, for it. Nah, yeah, everything course, ain't yeah. about getting, like, spending money. Like, if you cannot avoid what's dope mm. or what's culturally relevant. Like, But you do got to spend money, though. Yeah, I'm scared money don't make nothing. You, you, you got to invest in yourself. Absolutely. To, to be, to I'm, that's not what there. I'm saying. You definitely got to invest in yourself because if you want to be a star, if you want to be an artist, you need to buy. You need to have a studio, or you mm -hmm. need to have equipment for a studio. Yeah. So you gonna have to spend that money. You know what I'm saying? Like you going That's that goes back to what I was saying about expecting people to do shit for you. Like, mm -hmm. nah, man, go learn this shit. Like, go be all of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I feel like there there's a uh, a greatness in you know all of it. Like you know what I'm saying? Just the whole process of it. Like if you if you young and you think you got something, bro. You know how to. You should know how to get something popping in your neighborhood, right? Like, right. but not not even just not even just for like like your label and stuff like that. But social media is making it a lot easier for a lot of people to get noticed and get put on. Absolutely. You know so what I mean? it's so, called social media, though. Like it's supposed to do that, but yeah. at the same time, like we can tell when it ain't real. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? We can tell when it ain't real, and then you know the fans can too. Yeah. You'll I mean, that, I mean, but but you want, but but we listen, know but you it's been a couple people. Two million followers with forty five likes. Yeah. yeah, yeah I, I mean, mean, no, no, right. no, no, no. I'm not saying right. I'm not <laughs> saying buy shit like that. What I'm saying is like like I was saying like the, the Spanish girl like like last week or something. You know what I mean? She didn't. I don't, I don't think she paid World Star or anything. I think her shit just went viral. You know what I'm saying? And and um and now she popped up to like three hundred some thousand fucking view followers or whatever. I mean, just cause she's nice and the other was dude. She, I haven't seen her. She rapping or something? Yeah, yeah. She spent. I had to show y'all later. We can't do it right now, obviously. But right. yeah, 
But I mean, I mean, people like that, and then like the little the little girl, the uh, Lele or whatever, uh, she blew up from freestyling in her dad's car. You ain't never seen her neither. Yeah, the little girl. Yes, yeah, yeah. now she on commercials and shit. Know what yeah. I mean, like, yeah, she blew up. Yeah, I mean, it, there, there, there's again, the internet has made the world smaller. So you know, what I'm saying all of this stuff is 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 relevant. It's supposed to happen. I'm glad it's happening. Yeah. It's making it quicker for right. for artists to get money. <clears throat> you know, what I'm saying. If like, they know, I was gonna say, and if they not, in some of those situations, internet, some of those situations, how to get paid off of the streams, a lot of independent though. motherfuckers. Too. The, stream, the streams, yeah, you get paid over that, but that ain't that ain't everything, yo. You want to get shows, right? Because yeah, 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 I know yeah. a lot of those I situations. You get your money. I was saying a lot of those situations is just a quick 15 minutes of fame. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. How many people will grab that opportunity? Opportunity and seize the moment and truly push and really establish a career out of that shit. Yeah. And how many people are just gonna live in that little 15 minutes and, and it's over with? And that's the difference. Yeah. That's why I say I yeah. respect hard work over talent. Yeah. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? Because it's gonna be if you're trying to be around, you know, you like, yo, let me go back and go get, get, get this done and get this done and make this better. And yada, yada. I mean, you look at our look at our favorite artists, right? Your favorite artist still around, yo. They popping. If it yeah. ain't Jay-Z or Nas or mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, Lil Wayne. Dead. Biggie, <laughs> Pop, Pop, Pac and Big. Well, Pac, Pac is still Pac. around. I got a Pac question. Still around. Pac is still yeah. around. Yeah. I got, a, I got a question for you. Uh, being from PG County, and y'all got the new upcoming um on rapper Corday. How you feel about? Oh about man, Corday? you know that's my little youngin. Um, yeah, yeah. I think dope. Corday is trying to save dope. the world, bro. And and I'm gonna be right there to help him. I uh, think I, 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 the way I, I think he's gonna be around for a while because he got absolutely. he got. He got a little old school and new absolutely. type, yeah, of, type that, of vibe with him. You know? that, 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 kid, grew- that kid is amazing because he's he's captured what the young people want, but he still spits those lyrics like what an old nigga like me yeah, could understand. You know what I'm saying? Can understand and yeah. really appreciate, yeah, man. Yeah. Like you truly appreciate the yeah. music yeah. and the art that it really takes to, to be a lyricist. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like, but he also he also grew up around, you know, some realness. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when you grow up around realness, like you tend to gravitate to things quicker uh, that may not be for you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know for me, like, I grew up around some realness. So I was hanging around people four, five, six years older than me, and they was showing me and putting me on the shit that I wasn't re- re- really supposed to be around, but I caught it. Mm-hmm. And I ain't always did what they did, but it was some of the stuff that they taught me, they didn't know they was teaching me, and I applied it to my regular right, day yeah, life. Yeah. So that's what Corday is doing. Mm-hmm. Corday been around some real shit. He done seen some shit. So now he just really applying everything he saw when he was seven, eight, nine, ten years, you know, youngin, and putting it out into music now. And that's mm-hmm. what, what separates him too is like he he's off he's awfully intelligent. Nah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Um, when I met this kid, he was <laughs> at Towson State University. I drove from DC, which is thirty minutes up the road. Really, you know what I'm saying? To meet this kid, it's like an hour away from DC at Towson State. My my homeboy, um, son played for Towson basketball, and he said, put his his son put him onto this kid named Antandre. Mm. It was a video. I can't even find a video because they done took all the stuff down. But it was a video of him rapping in New York, rapping on top of this building. And I could see, I was like, man, this kid is dope. He got a speech impediment and he's still dope. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, so I was, I, I hit him on Twitter and was like, yo, what's up? Like, get at me. And he, he must have taken him like three or four days. He reached back out. He's like, yo, what's up? And I know what he did. He went and did his research on me as he should. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And it ain't hard to, I'm not hard to find. So he, he went and did his research and I was like, man, Call me, whatever we got on the phone. I was like, yo, bro, I'd like to come sit down with you and meet you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause at this time I was working with Nick Grant and, and Culture Republic and Hustle Gang. And I just, I, I, I'm always like looking for something, right? I don't right. even know what I'd be looking for, but I'm looking for something all the time. And I, the way I found this kid, I was like, man, I'm about to come up there and holler at you. I, I drove up there, sat down, had dinner with him, just kicked it with him, you know, and, um, and told him right there when I first met him, I was like, yo, bro, I don't want to like manage you or nothing. I just want to serve as like a mentor for you. You know what I'm saying? Like if you need anything, hit me up. Um, you know, if you, you want to bounce some ideas about your music or you want to go, you know, show some videos to me or whatever the case may be, like just use me as a, a as a tool for that. Like, dumb. you know what I mean? Just to help you out. Like, because he was like in college, he was talking about dropping out. And I was like, nah, not yet. I had told him, I was like, nah, not yet. Like, <laughs> I'm a college dropout. I, and I, I, you know, I know why I dropped out, but I didn't feel like it was time for him to drop out yet. I moved out to LA, 
a year later, after after me and him met, through this whole year, me and him keeping in touch, I moved out to LA. First person to come visit me was him mm. when I was at, at, in my office one day. And I had him in there. Mm. And look at this, bro. I had him in my office, and everybody just fell in love with him, like on some, like, yo, he's cool. Like a cool ass dude. Yeah. He didn't even know he could rap. And he came to my office. And was rapping against some of the ARs in the building. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. A couple of months later, we go to my fucking um, complex con together. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I had already been. I told him, I said, "Yo, if you in anywhere, you want to go to any show, hit me up. I give you passes or I get you tickets." So you know, we started doing that. And then when we we had already did the um, Broccoli City shit in DC, I got him backstage. Then we went to complex con. I got him all sex, all access passes. This nigga went backstage and met everybody, even the kid. As he should. That, that's that hunger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That hunger. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, I, I, this is what made me fall in love with him. It was like, yo, like, I could put him in a room, and I know he going to go come out with, the, like, he going to work yeah. his magic. Everybody, you know what I'm yeah, everybody right. going to Not like just it. be some little, you know what I'm saying, flow, flower on the wall. Like, just really go, like, meet everybody. and Because that's what this business is about. It's about relationships, yeah. yo. So if you sitting around, you thinking you ain't you, you can do all of this by yourself, that you a fucking lie. You a, yeah. and you setting yourself up for failure. Mm -hmm. You can't do this shit by yourself. So you better get out here and meet somebody. Right. You know what I'm saying? He so, shot his video in our shop. Exactly. And you that's when I knew. I, 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 when he took and that video was popping. Like that's that, where that, that was one of That's the one that put him on. Really. We, we, he came. Yeah. He, he, the he the came in the shop. Said. He's like, yo. He's like, uh, you know. They was like, I want to shoot a video here. Woo woo woo. Ali was like, all right, cool. So he threw the song on, and I'm cutting hair. And I was like, who is this? He was like, oh, that's me. I said, that's you? <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah. I was like, so this is the song we're doing the video to? He's like, yeah. I was like, nigga, that shit yeah. is fire. Yeah, man. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But 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 besides besides the video, like his personality, exactly, now, just, just right. like you said, his personality, personality was, was exactly, like, yo. he was just cool. He was as so shit. cool. He was he, he, was, he was like, he was like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, we, we, didn't even we didn't even know who YBN <laughs> was. That's why I say it'd be so much shit. I be feeling like I'm outside the loop. So they they was coming to the shop for a minute. We just Thought they was little kids little trying kids, to get on rapping right. and shit. So uh, I remember Samar, uh, Mike Larry's godson was in there. He was like, oh, shit. He was like, y'all don't know who that is? He's like, nah, <laughs> bro. Like, they, they just some kids trying to rap yeah, to us. Yeah. He's like, nigga, that's YBN. That's YBN. They yeah. pulled up. He's like, they got millions of followers. I'm like, oh, shit. These little, <laughs> niggas, these little niggas is making yeah, them watch up. Yeah. 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 Man, yeah, and I mean, and it was good that, you know, Corday got down with them because it's like all young dudes. Now I mean coming up together and shit, yeah. and they and they all different. So you yeah, know what I mean that, that was a good situation. Yeah, so so you know I I love being a part of stuff like that. Seeing this kid, man, he gonna be like for real. He hasn't even reached the plateau that he's going. Uh, yeah, to, he's going. He's, he's going, only scratching the surface. Exactly, yeah. he is going to change the world, and he's already doing it. Yo. You hear that, Corday? See, we bigging you up, so bro, you have to come out and be on the podcast, dog. Oh, yeah, I cut him up. I, you know, I cut him up all the time. Like that's that's my client. So, yeah, I know. Like I'm I'm I'm, 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 I'm I'm trying to get him on, on on the podcast but he working on his new he working on his album right now so you know we gonna mean? have to start like doing phone with. calls on some of these niggas because it'd be hard to get them down here yeah so we I just know, have to I know, do huh? some some over the phone interviews that's, with a, that's interesting you say that because i remember nina nine was telling me that like you know nina nine she was on sirius xm out here first she was doing her show out here on hip-hop nation and then she moved back to new york and i was like well, why you move back she was like yo you you would think it it would be easy to get these artists to do stuff um out here, she was like, but it's not. She's like, when they in LA, they just want to be in the studio. Mm -hmm. yeah. She's like, in New York, they kind of move around a little bit and they know they got to do it. So we end up on, on, they end up on everybody's itinerary. She's like, but in LA, it's like they either want to go to the club or they want to go Bro. motherfucking to and, the studio. Yeah. She's like, yeah, it's, it's, it's locked in. Easy to get it's hard. It's in. hard to get these niggas committed to shit like days in advance, and it'd be like last minute yeah. shit. I mean, but, but the thing is, last minute shit might pop up for them, and they can't do it. And I understand. You that, know what I'm saying? Know. It's like it's like, yeah. yo, I gotta fly to fucking London today. Like, yeah, I can't nah, it do, do be like that though. Yeah. It do it yeah. do be like that. We had with me because it's been it, it, we've been trying to get me on here. I'm I'm an executive. Like, I don't I move around, but not nearly as much as them niggas be moving around. Hell yeah. So I get it. I get it. So uh, I do want to ask you, like, with the with all this mumble rap shit, you know what I'm saying? Being that you know the new thing, trap music and all this and that shit. You can't call it's it mumble a rap thing. shit. It's I mean, listen, 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 listen. He call it mumble rap. Dice. Just <laughs> let me talk. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. I'm not shitting I have an on opinion. it. Listen, I'm not shitting on it because I like it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it's terrible. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like. There's no substance in anything that nobody says for real. 
So my question is, is like they say history always repeats itself. Do you ever think that that the the lyricist will will return to hip hop and rap music? The the, the lyricist is they still here. here. I mean, like when you think about, and it's kind of like they just don't put them on the radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I always mean, that, been the case. It though. depends on what you're looking for for radio too. Because I mean, yeah. if you're doing the satellite stuff, you catch what you want to yeah. hear, yeah. depending yeah. on the show. Yeah. It's yeah. Just, if you're looking for, you know. Format radio, the powers and all of that stuff. Yeah, we get we get commer- we get commercial radio. You catching know what I'm the saying? Like that's all you I mean, hear all the time. I mean, let's keep it one hundred. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Oh. This is how. Let's keep it one hundred. Like um, that there is a place and time for everything, yo. Yeah. So even amongst you know, and I don't even like calling them number rappers. I just call them what they do. They rap. Yeah. Um, because all that shit is 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 culturally relevant, right? Um, and I like uh, I like Kodak Black. I mm-hmm. think he got something to say. I help Future get signed. Um, I, I really don't think Future got a whole lot to say, but his music is still good nonetheless. Because if I'm working out, if I'm running three or four miles, or if you're in the club, I'm in the club. I don't want to hear J Cole. Nah, right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I, me personally, probably wouldn't mind, but. You know what I'm saying? I know the girls ain't gonna, they can't, you know what I mean? They can't shake what I came to see. But if you're riding in your car and smoking a blunt or something, you wanna hear something like J. Cole. And it (laughs) it depends on what what I'm smoking. Like if if, if I'm I'm smoking, if I'm smoking a sativa, you might be right. If I'm smoking an endo, I might wanna hear future. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm, and it depends on the hybrid, you know what I mean? I may wanna hear motherfucking Kendrick. Like you Mm -hmm. never know. Like, but I say that there, that, that hip hop is a big ass pie. And every slice of that pie tastes different. Mm. And it's your job it's as a, a consumer cosmo- cosmopolitan to pick, pie. Is to pick the pieces that you like <laughs> exactly. and celebrate those pieces. Don't keep them to yourself and say, yo, this, this, these pieces are good and don't tell nobody. Tell people about the shit that you like. like and like then leave the rest bracket. of the pie. Yeah, yeah. Leave the rest of the pie for whoever else wants those slices. So, if it's, so if it's trap music, if it's if it's if it's emo rap, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, with the kid Juice World, he signed an Interscope too. That's that's emo rap. Yeah, Lil right. Young can really rap though. I've seen him go off the top of his head. You know what I'm saying? Like, and 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 some of his, but his greatest inspiration is Future. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So mm. so so I, I think it's all there's melody in future. There's shit. definitely I mean, melody it is, in it future. Is, shit. First, it is. It is. It's it's the same thing first. that you I like can get shit. from. It's the same I, thing I you get from Young Thug. And I hate Young Thug, but I love his melody. I love Young Thug. I love his melody. He's a genius. He's mm. uh, right. He knows how to use his voice as right. an instrument. He's, same thing Future does. Exactly. When, when, when you when you go when you go and listening to to people that y'all want to sign or whatever, like you got to have a straight blank. Mine because of all the different type of people that, that I mean that's coming. You know what I'm saying? Like you absolutely and, and you liking what you like back in the day. It's like I gotta cut all this shit out. Absolutely. Like once you realize that it ain't for you, but it's still it's popping. It's, it's a business. Like yeah. in your position, yeah, exactly. it's, it's, it's a business. business. It's business. But, it, but it's, it's hard business. for people to kind of channel that out. You know what I'm saying? And and be like, all right, I gotta have a blank mind because I don't think this is hot, but. A lot of people yes, are going to, to think learn, this is hot. If everybody else think that, that it's hot. I had to learn to do that. No, yeah. but but before it, before everybody even hears it, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to be the first one to hear it before you put it out for everybody to hear it. It's like, yo, I got to have a play. This shit, I don't like it, but, but that's where it's Vin, probably going to pop. That's where, I'm sure from his position, when you hear something like that, you know it's not for you, but you ad- uh, automatically can identify the market that it's for. So mm-hmm. I know I'm going to take this directly to these people as yeah. opposed mm-hmm. to taking this to y'all yeah, yeah. who ain't going to fuck with it. But mm-hmm. I know over here they're going to love it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, I mean, it's it's also too, like, when you when you get to be older, right, like, that's a part of the gig. That's a part of life, period. Like, Fact. you know what I'm saying? I remember playing hip-hop for my dad, right? I remember playing... Um, um, Paid in full the album for my dad driving from Charlotte to North to North Carolina to DC. And he was saying, Man, like what are they, what are y'all doing in my James Brown records? And then, <laughs> and, then, and then when I played Tribe Called Quest, he was like, Yo, man, like this Earth on the Fire, this, you know, this average white band, what are y'all doing? And and and, and I and I was in there bobbing my head, right? But what it did was it made me go back and listen to his James Brown. Yeah. It made me go back and listen to his Earth on the Fire. You heard the little riffs. You heard the and riffs. And I wanted to it. hear the originals, right? right? I wanted to hear the real shit because I was like, damn, 
Like, it, like this shit, I'm thinking this shit new. <laughs> Dion and, do and that shit all the time, don't yeah. <laughs> But see, and, and, that's, and that's the thing for me, like, that's different for our generation versus this newer generation is that we still had a respect for older music. We I know, me and, my, I know me and my homeboys, I know we, like, when I was in high school, it was almost like a competition to find some yep. of the old shit that, yep. nigga, like, I know you don't know about this shit. Yep. And you know what I'm saying? But these kids today, like, you mentioned people... That rapped in the nineties, or you know what I'm saying, shit that was popular in the nineties. They be like, I don't know who that is. I never heard that before. It's the like world picked up speed. There's 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 an overload of information. But it, I mean, but now. I understand so that. that not, I, I understand that. But see, for me, it's like if you are an artist, then you should be a a, a student of of the music. And if you're a student, if you're a student of the music, then you should want to study He's, everything that's come before you. You have an you have an excellent point. So so I, I've I've sat down and I've been around a lot of like people that people admire, right? And one of them was a producer. And I sat around him one time. We was going from some radio stations. And and he was telling me, I asked him, I was like, yo, um, you ever played an instrument? He was like, no. And then he was like, I was like, yo, do you collect music? He was like, no. But he's a he's a popular producer, like really popping, like still popping right now. And, and, and I don't want to say his name, but right. he's still popping right now, like super popping. So I was like, damn. So I was like, um, you know, well, that's probably some of the problem with the music is, like you said, you know what I mean? A lot of producers and artists, not all of them, because we wouldn't be saying this about Corday if it was all. Right, 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 yeah. right. Um, but it's, it, 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 it goes, it's, it's, some, it's two part. It's two people you can blame. You can blame us for not giving that shit to them and, and making it so that, like, this is our hip hop, right? right? And it's only ours and y'all can't touch this. Nah, nigga. Hip hop. This is why people be tripping off white people. You know what I'm saying? Enjoying hip hop. Hip hop is for everybody. Everybody. Hip hop ain't got no fucking age or none of that shit. Just think about it like this: If you 60, that means when hip hop came out in 1970s ish, 73, 74, you 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 were 15 years old. So that means you grew up on hip hop. Right. If you're yep. 60 years old, that means you grew up on hip hop. Right? right. So the rest of your life. You you all you knew was that shit. At fifteen years old, you still was impressionable. You still was like, "Yo, this shit is dope." Now, right. we took our music and was like, "Yo, this ours," and we ain't share that shit with these youngins. So, that's one thing. The other thing is, they decided, like he said, and like we've been talking about, is the internet that made this shit. So I don't have to learn anything about music. I don't have to play no instrument. I don't have to be no DJ. The producers back in the day were either DJs, band, they played in a band, or they motherfucking, um, they were DJs. Or, 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 <laughs> tech no, heads. no, it like was really only two things. They were DJs or they played drums or they were like a drum Drums, major or they yeah. played in a band. That was it. Now, half of these producers never even picked up an instrument in their fucking life. In their life. Man. But, they don't have to. Because I got Fruity Loops I and I got say all Logic and all this yeah. shit, mm -hmm. and you know what I'm saying, and then it 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 works for them. You can't just you 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 can't just hate on it because it ain't working for you. It worked for them, but at the same time, you lose some of the soul every time that that cycle doesn't get um turned the right way. I think that's the thing that's mostly missing from. I think that's the thing that upsets us the most about the uh, the music nowadays. But see, that's why soul. you gotta go find what you like. And, yeah. it's you, and it's there, and it's there. It's there. You like it? It's there. I want to really there. Hey, you man. just got to know where to go, and you know that's that's the gift and the hurt, the curse with the internet nowadays is there's so much information. You have to know where to go to find your lane. But the shit is available. But it's all all of that shit's available. I but, but hip hop always been like that though. Yeah, hip hop has always been the the stuff you got to go find. Like it, it's it's like right. once it gets to a, a certain place. Once it gets to a certain place, yeah, everybody got it, but it's always been like you got to go find the real shit, like the First, real rap. Yeah. yeah, you got to go deep, yeah. and it ain't on the radio. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like Nas ain't had a whole bunch of success on radio. Not at all. You know what I mean? But I'm yeah, like, Scarface, Echo record. Scarface right. ain't had a whole bunch of success on radio. A Ball M J G ain't had a whole bunch of success on radio. UGK, I can go on and on and mm -hmm. on, but you still love those artists, yo. Yeah, facts. I mean, let's keep it one hundred. NWA ain't had a whole bunch of success on radio, bro. Yeah, right. Like, they talked about that shit on their albums. Like, how radio ain't fuck with them. Yep. I mean, you know the saying? 90s was about that not yeah. getting success. It wasn't, I mean, you know, uh, the Chronic and Puff with Niggas. Big and Puff post-Big is what made 
Niggas wasn't niggas wasn't revving. Niggas was cussing a lot and, and talking gangbang, this and that, this and that. So they, they, were, they wasn't making shit for the radio. Like he said I listened to some of the 90s rap. Right 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 I was like, damn, them niggas was going hard. When you say you listen to Rakim, I don't know if y'all realize Rakim dropped however many albums and never cursed once. Yeah, yeah. He cursed like yeah. he cursed he cursed like, like maybe once or twice. Right. But, but like out of yeah, all that shit, curse word. And he says shit in in like a couple of Hold 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 on. I wanna um I since, uh, since you're an industry person and, and we ain't here talking about... Nah, nigga, about, I'm not no industry person. Well, well, well you know, you deal, with a lot, you deal with a lot of people in the industry. So I just want to say, you know I mean? The industry took a hard hit, you know what I mean, last week with the passing of Kim Porter. So I just want to say, Man. a rest in peace, you know so what I'm saying? I've been, I, I, I used to work for, for Bad Boy. For Kim Porter. Yeah, I used to work for Bad Boy. Yes, rest in peace to Kim. Um, I used to work for Bad Boy and I worked with Puff. Um, when he had his uh, press play album, so Danny D. Kane, Young J- I was the first person with the Young Jock is going down record. Like, I literally took that shit to a radio station and the lady was like, yo, that shit's gonna only be around for three months and it ended up being like the biggest record of that year. Yeah. So I, 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 I was actually worked, the first record I worked in Atlanta when I moved to Atlanta was a record called Them Boys by Boys in the Hood. Yeah, yeah. At the yeah. time with Jeezy and, and and Duke and and uh and, and all and, and Young Gunner, all them but on that. Two record. Chains was with them. No, nah, Two nah. Chains wasn't with them. Oh, but but Jody this, Breeze. This, but Kim Porter discovered that group. Jody Breeze, right, Young Gunner. J- um Kim, Kim Porter discovered that group. You know what I'm saying? So I've been around her a lot of times. Like, you know, it, you know, she still was here. She was like, hey, what's up, man? Like, you know what I mean? It was it was genuine love. Yeah. Always a party. Seemed like every time I was around her, like it was a party going on, mm-hmm. like you know what I'm saying. And I don't know if that was on purpose or what, but she I feel like that, that was the, that, that, that was the good. energy that she had that she gave off. Yeah. I never seen her acting crazy or none of that. I never seen none of that. I seen her always showing love and giving love. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, that was uh, a shock. That that's was a what's shock, up, man. man. That was a rest shock. in peace, Kim Porter, man. I hate to actually end this conversation, man. This shit is going so great. We can go on and on and on. Amir, man, I really appreciate you coming through and spending this time oh, with us, man. Yes, Take right, your yes, time yes, out yes. your day again just to hang out with us. Um, tell the people where they can follow you at. Give them your handles and everything. Um, I'm on Twitter and I'm on Instagram. Um, and it's at A-M-I-R-K-H-A-R-Y. Amir Kari. Um, yeah, that's where I'm at. There you go. You can follow Amir Kyrie, man. Now and don't be flooding his inbox with bullshit. Right, right. I, I, listen, gonna, I listen to everything. If you gonna send him some music, send him some real shit. Yeah, no, no. I mean, send send the bullshit too, because at least bullshit lets me know that it's still bullshit out here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to flood your inbox with some bullshit, bro. All right. <laughs> hey, well, this has been another episode of Barbershop Barber Talk Like This. Bitch. I'm your host, Trey the Barber. And this your other host, Dice the Barber. Cushion the building. And we got a mayor over here. Yeah, he I, I wanted to say that barbershop like talk. Like oh, we gonna let, let, <laughs> let, let, let's run it back. Let's run it back here. And this is and thank you for tuning in because this has been another episode of Barbershop, barbershop talk, talk Like This. I'm your host Trey the Barber, <laughs> and this your other host Dice the Barber. Kush is in the building, and Amir Kari Boyd is in this biatch. And we out this motherfucker. Follow yeah. Barbershop Talk Like This at 